What's going on guys? John Elder here from Konami.com and in this video, we're going to remove many records from the database for our tree base app with Kinter and Python. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to remove many records from our database for our tree base app with Kinter. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off memberships, all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee at just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, up until now, we've removed one record, we've removed all the records. In this video, I want to show you how to remove several. So we've got it set up here to where if you hold down the control button and then click several different records, we can highlight several records. And we already have this remove many selected. We can boom, remove them, but that just removes it from the tree base. That's not actually deleting it from the database itself. And that's what we're gonna work on in this video. So, you know, I can delete all of these things, remove many. And when I do that, it seems cool, but then when I close it and open this back up again, like I said, all those records are back. So we need to actually delete them from the database. So that's what we're gonna do in this video. And it's a little bit tricky, but it's not too bad. So. Let's head back over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the other videos in the Kinter playlist, almost 200 other videos. So check that out if you haven't so far. So this is our treebase.py file. This is the app we've been working on since the very beginning here of this little series. And if we come down here, we see remove many. This is the remove many button. And it's calling this remove many function. So we just need to come back up here and find that remove many function and here it is and you can see like I said we've already got some stuff in here this is deleting the things we've selected from the tree view itself like I said though this is all the code we have it's not actually deleting anything from the database so let's look at this so when we removed all we set up this little message box right in the last video this is well are you sure you want to remove those things I want to do the same thing here so let's just copy this code bring it up here and instead of saying uh, this will delete everything from the table this will, let's say this will delete everything selected from the table. Are you sure? So then here we can say, if yes, do something. And let's indent this stuff in. Otherwise don't do anything, right? So, okay, that looks good. So remember down here, to delete stuff from the database, we need to connect to the database, create a cursor, run some command, and then close our stuff. And we also want to clear the entries just in case there's something in it. So I'm just going to copy all this stuff here and we'll bring it back up here. And we're doing this a lot. So in the real world, I probably would have created a function for all this stuff and I would just call that function every time, but whatever, this will work too. So this is our database. I went ahead and backed up this database again because we're going to be deleting things from the database. Uh, if you don't remember, I just pulled up a file explorer here, went to my C GUI directory and then here is our database right here, the tree underscore CRM. You see, I just made several copies of it. I just copied this, copy, right click, paste, and made a bunch of copies, right? So you might wanna go ahead and do that. I made a bunch of copies because I'm a little paranoid, but whatever. So, okay, we're not gonna drop this table. So I'm just gonna get rid of that. So, okay, here's what we need to think about. When we click on items in our tree base, what's actually happening? Right? What are we selecting? And we can see right here, we can sort of get this an idea by looking at it. We're calling my tree, which is our tree view, and then we're calling dot selection. This will return the selection of things that we've got, right? Well, what is that returning? Let's take a look at it and see. So let me just print out whatever that is, right? So let's go ahead and save this and run it and just take a look at this and see what's going on here. So let's say we pick the first one, the second one, and the third one. Uh, we're getting some errors here, not to worry, we'll fiddle with that in a minute. Now, if I click this remove many selected, we get this, oh, are you sure? Yes, boom, they disappear. We come down here and this is what it's printing out, zero, one, and two, right? So, okay, let's run this again. What is that? Zero, one, and two. It's just a list of things in the tree view. This is the zero thing, this is the first thing, this is the second thing. So it's ordered like a Python list. Well, okay, that's great, but what we really need to delete something from the database is we need the ID. And this zero, one, two doesn't have anything to do with the ID, right? So we need to find the ID for the zeroth item. We need to find the ID for the first item. 
We need to find the ID for the second item, Tim Tanaka. How do we do that? Well, let's see. Let's come over here and first of all, let's comment here, designate selections, right? And we don't need to print that anymore. And here let's go uh, delete from tree view. I know we're doing that. So we can take that number 012 and pass it in as an item number. So for instance, let's create a loop. So let's go for record in X. We've, we've designated this Python list 012, we called it X. So let's say for record in X, let's just print out my underscore tree dot item. And then we want to pass in that record. So it's going to be zero or one or two or whatever. And we want to return the values, All right? So we can do that. Let's go ahead and save this, run it and see what that's returning. Let's pull this over again. We want one, two and three. Uh, we select those. We click remove many. Are you sure? Yes. When we close this. We can see it's returning all of the stuff, the values. So the value for zero is John Elder. The value for one is Mary Smith. The value for two is Tim Tanaka. Not to be confused with this one, two, three. These are the IDs, right? That's not the zero, the one, the two. That's something else, right? So look at this. This is a tuple. So we can call the zeroth item of this tuple. So zero, one, two. The twoth, the second item of the tuple is the ID number. We need the ID number to delete from the database because we want to say, hey, delete something from the database that's ID is two, you know, Mary Smith, right? So to get that ID number, we can call the zero, one, twoth item of this tuple, right? So let's do that. Let's see if that works. So instead of returning my tree item values, let's call this the second one, right? So if we save this and run it again, right? So we've got this one, this one, and this one. So the IDs are one, two, and three. If we've done this right, it will return one, two, and three. So let's click this button, remove many selected, click yes, close this out. And there it is one, two, three. Those are our IDs. Now we're calling the twoth item, we could call the zeroth item that will give us the first names, right? We don't want the first names. But if for some reason we did, we could do it that way. For instance, here we can go John, Mary, Tim, click the button, remove, close it, John, Mary, Tim. So pretty simple, pretty straightforward, a little convoluted, but uh, very cool. So we don't want this, the names, we want the IDs. So uh, we want the second item. Let's run this one more time just to make sure since we're kind of playing around with this. Uh, so let's go. We want John. This time let's do Tina and Mary. So this is going to be one, seven, and 10, right? So we click the button, click yes, close this out. One, seven, 10. All right. So those are the IDs we need to now delete from the database. So we can't just have them floating around like this, one, seven, and 10. We need to actually add them to a Python list because then we're going to take that list and tell the database to delete every item from the list, right? So let's create a list and let's head back over here and say create list of IDs. And I'm going to call this IDs underscore two underscore delete because we want to delete them from the database. And this is just going to be a blank Python list, right? So here, where we printed these items out onto the terminal, instead of doing that, let's add selections to IDs to delete list. So here, instead of printing this, we want to call IDs to delete dot append like that, and then pass in all this stuff. Okay, so that looks good. So let's print that out onto the screen now. So let's go print IDs to delete just to make sure that it's correctly creating a Python list of these IDs. So let's save this, run this guy one more time. And let's come back over here. Now let's do John, Tim and Bob. So this is going to be one, three and five. So we can click on this. Are you sure? Yes. Close this. And now we get this Python list of one, three and five. So now we are ready to go. We can take this Python list bring it over to the database and say, Hey, delete records with IDs of everything in this list, right? And to do that, it's a little different than what we've looked at in the past. Let's come back over here. 
So let's come up here to where we removed one. Remember the SQL command to do that was C slash execute, delete from customers where the OID equals all of this stuff, right? So instead of c.execute, we want to do something called c.execute many, because we've got many records. We're not just deleting one, we're not just executing one SQL command, we're executing multiple SQL commands. We're saying delete many records. So to do that, let's head down here to our remove many records, and we don't need to print this onto the screen anymore, so get rid of that. So let's come down here to where we want to delete everything from the table. Now again, we've connected to the database, we've created a cursor, we're committing our change and closing our connection. Here we want to c.execute many, right? And then what do we want to do? Well, we want to delete from our customers table where the ID equals, or you could go, I guess, OID, either one works. Let's go ID equals, and then let's put a question mark, little placeholder thing. And now we just want to pass in that IDs underscore two underscore delete. So this is that Python list that, where to go? We just created right here. It's going to take that list. It's going to execute many or however many are in this list. So if there's only one, it'll do one. If there's 15, it'll do 15. There'll be 15 numbers listed in this Python list. It will go through the database and delete records with IDs of each of those IDs. So that should do the trick. So all of our commands so far have been c.execute, right? c.execute. Well, let's just come up to the very top, c.execute. So when we created the table, you know, c.execute, there's c.execute, there's c.execute, there's c.execute, c.execute. Well, that was c.execute many. But you can see we've done a lot of c.executes, right? This is the first time we've done c.execute many. Uh, a little bit different, but uh, should do the trick. So, okay, let's go ahead and run this guy one more time. Let's come back over here. Let's delete John, Mary, and Tim. Let's just knock out the first three. So if this is successful, and let's see, let's remove many. Are you sure this will delete everything? Yes. Boom, it deletes them all. The ID four is now the first one listed, Aaron Arrington. So now if we close this, open it back up again, we see Aaron Arrington, number four, is the very first record listed. Those first three have been deleted completely, and uh, we are good to go. So that seems to work, but only with IDs up until nine. If we pick something with ID 10, so let's go 10, 11, and 12, and try and remove many. I say, are you sure? Uh-oh, we get some errors here, right? So here, if we close this, it says SQLite programming error, incorrect number of bindings supplied. Uh, the current statement uses one and there are two supplies supplied. And if we try and run this again, we see 10 and 11 and 12 have not been deleted. So what's going on here? Well, like I said, this works the way we have it set up with IDs to delete as a Python list when the list is less than 10. So we've got a list say of you know one, two and five, but when it gets to be 10, 11 and 12, what we need here is basically a tuple in the sort of form of this, and then this, and then something like this, right? And it sort of does it automatically when it's a Python list less than 10, but when the numbers are more than 10, it starts to you know try and do 10 and zero and, 11, it splits up each number instead of putting them together like 10, right? So we need to sort of mess around with that. And we can do that fairly easy by instead of doing IDs to delete, we're going to pass in this thing. And let's create another sort of little placeholder. I'm just going to call it A. And we put a comma there because it's a tuple and the last thing in a tuple needs the comma. And here we could just go for A in IDs underscore to delete. So what this will do is it'll loop through our IDs to delete. It'll take A and smash it into this sort of format. Then it'll take that and smash it into there and everything should work fine. So let's go ahead and save this. Run this guy one more time. Bring it over here. Let's try 10, 11, 12. Now we can remove many again. Boom, that disappears. We can close it. We can run it again to make sure they've actually been deleted. 
and 10, there's nine and there's 13, they've been deleted. Uh, 10, 11, 12 have been deleted. So let's get rid of nine and 13. Let's see if that works. Remove many selected, boom. That seems to work. Nine and 13 are now gone. We can run this guy one more time. Yeah, in fact, nine and 13 are gone and we're good to go. A little weird, uh, just one of those things, probably a bunch of different ways you could do this with this uh, sort of formatting right here. I was just kind of in a hurry and I thought, oh, that'd probably work. And uh, looks like it does. <laughs> so that's a sort of a hacky way to get around that. And uh, that's all there is to it. So that is removing many selected records from the database and the tree view and uh, moving right along. So that's all for this video. If you'd like to be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off memberships. It pays just $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com and I'll see you in the next video.